Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian. I am here today thanks to the generosity of the Beretta Company allowing me to come to their reference collection outside of Brescia and take a look at some of the really cool prototype rifles that they have. Now this one was actually apparently done by the Tyranny Arsenal and this is a very early experiment in turning a bolt action rifle into a self loader. This is an M91 Carcano rifle, 6.5 millimeter, appears to be basically one straight off the rack that was modified to be semi-auto. Now typically the way, one way that people do this would be by taking a bolt action rifle and adding a gas piston on the side. And then as the gas piston cycles backwards, you have a set of mechanical components that cause it to pull the bolt up, push it back, and then a recoil spring moves it forward and rotates it back down. For example, the uh, British Charlton uh, did that. The other way you could do it, which is what Tyranny was trying with this rifle, is to use a short recoil system, where they took the entire barrel and receiver assembly of this rifle and allowed it to move about a centimeter. Well, less, maybe six or seven millimeters. So you can see when I push on the barrel, the whole thing cycles backwards. What that does is allow you to take a standard receiver you don't have to mess with attaching anything to the front end of the rifle and you can use the recoil energy to do the work for you. Now what we have here is a little lug that the lug is fixed to the frame, to the, uh, the stock and the magazine assembly. That all stays in place. It's just the barrel which slides in these barrel bands. Now when that goes backwards, this lug interacts with a, uh, a cutout in the bottom of this bolt and it forces the bolt to cam upwards which is a clever way of forcing the action to unlock. Now that cam can't move it very far. The original Carcano was a two lug bolt where you had to rotate the bolt a full 90 degrees to unlock it. They've replaced that with what appears to be, I believe, a, an eight lug bolt where it now only requires a very short throw up to unlock, enough that this cam can do that. So the bolt there is in the locked position. And it's a little, uh, stiff to do it by hand, but it only comes up that far. Then the bolt can cycle backwards under inertia, pick up a cartridge, run it forwards. There's a recoil spring on this side, which we'll see in a moment, which is then going to force the bolt all the way forward, cam it back down. The bolt drops back onto this lug. The whole assembly goes forward and you're ready to fire again. Now, this is a clever way to do a self-loading rifle conversion of a bolt action. And like I said, every military in the world wanted to do this because in theory, it could be a very cost-effective way to take the existing rifles that they had and convert them instead of having to buy all brand new self-loaders. So uh, obviously this didn't get accepted because this never showed up anywhere, but it's a really neat experiment to look at. So let's take a closer look. All right, we've got the Tyranny Arsenal logo there. This is serial number T35. It's marked 35 on several of the other parts. And that 08 is a date. So this is a 1908 rifle. This is a pre-World War I experiment into semi-automatic actions. Now they've added a big amount of metal back here. This is an added receiver cover. If we look inside here, you can see the firing pin coming back through an extra lug. This semicircular bit right here encloses our return spring. It's not really a, well, I guess it, you could call it a, a recoil spring as well. So what happens when this functions is that lug is locking into this cutout on the bottom of the bolt. It's an angled surface. And so, like I said, it's a little stiff to do by hand. But when the bolt cycles backward, you can see how that lug is going to interact with the cutout on the bolt handle and force it open. Now, once this is cammed open and unlocked, it cycles all the way back. This does not lock open. Instead, you have a cutout here like a later submachine gun to manually lock the action open. You can see that they've added a bunch of locking lugs to the bolt face so that it requires a shorter throw to lock. There we go. So that is how you would lock the gun open. You then have an opening here to use what is, I presume, a standard six round Carcano clip. 
there are the front of the clip would come right the front of the clip would come right to these two little square edges and then you've got these two feed lips to ensure that the top cartridge goes in the right direction because this whole thing has been lengthened out to accommodate the short recoil action. I wish I knew more about you can see the end cap on this is vaguely reminiscent, reminiscent of the Vetterli system, which the Italians used prior to the Carcano. 1908, they probably still had some of this sort of stuff lying around. I wish I could tell you guys more about this, but this is an aspect of developmental history that I have never seen before in a book, and I don't have any other information to give you. But clearly we can see how it works, and it's a very cool experiment. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a rifle I hadn't even heard of before I found it here in the, the Beretta reference collection. I'm grateful to them for letting me come in and take a look. And I'm grateful to you guys who helped support me on Patreon, which gives me the ability to do things like come here to Italy and check out rifles like this to bring to you. If you enjoy the work, uh, please like the video, subscribe, and consider checking out that Patreon account and uh, signing up yourself. It really is a big help to me. Thanks for watching.